All right, hello everyone. It's Mystic Juicer back with some more Yomi action. I've got Mego Hunter on the line. Hello everyone. And uh, we're about to cast some uh, IYL play in action. So Castaniche and Ginorm about to fight for the eighth spot in the uh, in the IYL eight playoffs. And uh, yes. looks like they're readying up. Ooh, yeah, I was wondering, so I have no idea, like, what Casta usually plays. I think he's one of those guys that just plays, like, a dozen different characters. I, I was expecting Midori from from Ginorm. Yeah, Ginorm, um, sticking to his main. And, mm -hmm. uh, Casta, I know, is uh, Quint's main originally, but I think now he just plays hard counterpick whenever he can. Yeah. So the Zane, obviously, the counterpick Midori. He's decided to go for it. He's yeah. renounced honor and humanity. Ooh, the undercut. Point <laughs> <laughs> eight throws. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> so uh, Ginorm actually has uh, a fair amount of experience in this matchup. He just played, I think, two sets of this. Counterpick cake, right? Yeah, exactly. So a slightly different format. He was usually fighting a... Uh, uh, a Zane with 15 less hit points, uh, but uh, still did uh, remarkably well. Some of those games were absolute blowouts. So um, we'll see how this goes. I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes against a true Zane, not not like <laughs> not nerfed Zane. Yeah, full power Zane. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, let's see. Um, 15, you know, Ooh. 15 HP less just means that he has he has to win, you know. Um, Jano just has to win one more combat and then normal, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Can he make it happen? Make though? Game. Yeah. We've already got the, uh, the canonical, uh, first shenanigans, which is, uh, <laughs> lose your Joker. <laughs> and we don't have a Jack in hand either for, uh, for Casta. So this is actually a pretty good position for Ginorm. Unless, unless, Migo, that last throw was the absolute, like, expanding galaxy ascendant brain play of i powered up for one ace have all four three with the seven didn't have the jack and i'm gonna raw <laughs> ma you on this next turn oh lord well <laughs> rock all right you rock you is almost as good <laughs> yeah <laughs> slightly slower deals just a scooch less damage <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we probably, probably he doesn't have <laughs> four aces. Nah, definitely, yeah. It's not looking likely that he has anarchy. Mm -hmm. So will he be able to flip a jack? Okay, he's probably going to flip into 19, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't see it that often, but I can see the value of Zane's just powering up for a single ace just to, you know, tack on free 19. Yeah, I think, I think he did it there just to... Just to put the slight doubt into Ginorm's mind, like, hey, I'm getting a single ace. Do you really want to lose 50 hit points uh, on, like, That's the true. craziest high roll of my life on this next knockdown <laughs> turn? Um, and then was able to get Ginorm to kind of play defensively there. And Ginorm's sticking to his guns. This is kind of what he did in the uh, the set I was watching uh, against Master. No, it wasn't Master Blaster. Who was who was he playing against? I can't remember now. In Counterfeit Kick? I think it was yeah. uh, Elza Jonk. Oh, that's right. Elza Janko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Master Blaster probably gets Elza Janko, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's why I was getting confused. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, so he played a really, really conservative range, um, especially in the first game. He got perfected in the first game. <laughs> like, Elza Janko was just like, all right, throw. Like, Batman, throw into. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> just like, I don't care. Ooh. Okay. That, yeah. Oh, do we see it? Go, oh, come on. Everybody believe. Clap your hands. Aww. Oh, wow. That's got to feel really bad for Giant Yeah, that sucks. They didn't have it. That sucks. That's going to be nine free damage here. Nearly a quarter of uh, Giant Arm's remaining hit points. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, he had wait, wait. three. He had three aces. We almost saw it. Like, so he flipped the fourth ace like on turn like four or something. So we almost did see the friggin' blow up. That's so disgusting. What is this yeah, that's character? Nasty. That's nasty. 
if we dodged into anarchy, I would have screamed. Yeah, I would, I would have turned off. That was like, stop recording. Like, yeah. we don't. The children, the children can't see this. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely horrifying to watch. Yeah, <laughs> avert your eyes. <laughs> oh man, three queens I mean, for Ginorm there. Yeah, and no dragon form and no hands. It seems either. Yeah, no glimpses. Kind of unfortunate. So he he can still make this happen, but it's gonna be ooh, <laughs> well. Gonna I be guess prime. yeah, he can technically still make this happen, but it's not looking great. Yeah, like I mean, he has he he managed to build a large, healthy hand, but the damage has already been done from yeah. Zane. Yeah, you've got so to win those combats. Be, exactly, it's like by the time you get to that high hand point, you're like fifty life down. It's rough. Yeah. This absolute okay. madman. Okay. He's going right. to bet it all. <laughs> Jesus. It's a legitimate mix up, though. Yeah. Yeah. Ginorm has to have fourth queen for this to be absolutely safe or two jokers. Oh my Wait. god. Just draw. Just draw your best cards. <laughs> Yeah, he got no he got no twos, but he finally got his first ten. Yeah, that's right. So. Not exactly bad draws either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, 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 you can't as Ginorm here. You cannot complain about your draws. Maybe like those four queens in the discard. They tell uh they tell a certain tale. Yeah, certainly. You know, despite the lack of twos, still great draws. Um... Oh, yep. I mean, it's safe unless he top deck throws exactly which is certainly possible but you know we got some sketchy situations possibly happening here if he draws a queen or a king he is locked or a jack he is locked into attack he cannot play anything else yeah uh cast us playing with fire but he just needs to win one it's true oh! <laughs> what's his mystery card oh shit I'm betting. I'm betting it's a. It's another attack. <laughs> Do Probably. we see? Are we gonna get the comeback? The crazy no. thing is, like Ginorm can't even just AA because if if Zane draws a dodge, even if he had zero other cards in hand, if he draws a dodge, he just dodges into like, you know, Shenand King, and then you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, like at least, at least it oh, oh, oh. threads the needle. Ginorm with the insane game one comeback. Well played. He played for the the long game. Yeah, the long yeah. Ball. And his 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 blocking pays off in the end. Absolutely. Especially when uh, Casta was at very low hand. Yeah. Well played. That was sick. I mean. I mean, even if Casa did dodge there, like, he doesn't have enough damage to kill off a dodge, right? The most they can do is 10 without aces. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, if he crash bombs me, it sucks, but at least I'm not dying here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get one more chance, right? So, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was very, very safe. So it makes me think that, I mean, we don't have hands on, but it makes me think that uh, Casta probably drew, like, uh, a queen or a jack or something. Anything but a dodge. I would expect to dodge, like, a lot of the time in that scenario. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Starting okay. off aggressive. Yeah, the range shift. Let's go. <laughs> so I'd like to see. Yeah. That's the thing. It's impossible to tell like how good Midori's hands are until like after he hits you for twenty. Or That's like probably the scariest part of his character. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can't really know the full strength of his hand yeah. until he like blows you up with absurdly efficient damage. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay, queen. I'm, raw cues. I'm curious about this queen, these like these raw queens from uh, from Casta. Like, what does that tell us about his hand? He just doesn't have any normals he's willing to play. Yeah, I mean, either he's like he doesn't have any fast normals, and he just that's why he's just playing cues. Wow, goes very low hand here. Does cash out for a good amount of damage. Yeah, but um, yeah, he's only yeah three cards, it's and just... he didn't get any normal draw. It's a little sketchy. It's a little sketchy yeah. right now. I mean, Zane certainly has a damage to, you know, make up for the fact that he's low hand, but... It's still. true. Ginorm risking a little bit by going into dragon form here, depending on what his hand is. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of really. banking on uh, 
Casta attacking into his uh, his blocks there to get that that dragon throwback. Mm-hmm. Or it's a bait. It does give him, yeah, it does give uh, Jynum some breathing room, though. Absolutely. Because, you know. Ooh, uh, that's a great combat win. Yeah, that's pretty pretty huge for pretty huge win for Ginorm. It can get his K back. I think. Uh, and, you know, I think. Might... Oh yeah, go ahead. Oh god. No, I say he still might. He might still have you know Qs and Js on deck as well. He just yep. had, chose not to play them for the mind games. Yeah. Yeah, I mean your your queens, any queens and jacks he has in hand get so much better now that he has the throw to uh, to force Casta to play attack cards. So uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think I think Ginorm after that first game was like, well, you know what? I didn't I didn't get punished super hard for playing crazy block. So um, I think I'll stick with my conservative style. And uh, nicely played by Casta, he gets the the reload. Yeah, good goal burst there. Yeah, basically willing to bet that you know he's not blocking the third time. So did Casta draw four aces? By turn, what is it? Turn five now? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, no. Giant Arm gets to get the queen back. Respects the uh, the potential, like, insane uh, low odds uh, anarchy, though. I like to see it. Yeah. You never be too careful. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that beats both sides of that. That point one undercut is nasty. Okay, gets the jack. So he can throw into jack here, get rid of dragon form, and uh, breathe probably a little bit easier. Oh. oh. Okay. Interesting choice. You <laughs> damage then. Disregard, disregard knockdown. <laughs> Acquire a dead dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, like, if he's in dragon form, it's like, you know, I mean, knockdown is not that good when, you know, Ginorm has, scared, has you know, DPs on deck. That's true. I, I just expect, I mean, like, I don't know, like, you've got you've got four combo points. You, you can use two of them to throw there. You keep the yep. uh, the aces in hand. You don't need to spend them there. Yeah, I think it's probably better to, Or you he's know. a genius! <laughs> 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 the reads on this man! And he got he got a throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean you're you're right. It's probably better to just you know throw into Jay there, but I don't know. Cast doesn't mad man. <laughs> doesn't even use the ten. He's like, I don't need it. <laughs> this man just wow. taunted into full combo. <laughs> That's pretty BM right there. That's <laughs> I think to use a Shenan's throw. <laughs> he's like, hell? no, no, no. I need a faster throw in my combo. I want to. I don't want to drop this link. <laughs> this, <laughs> the startup on ten throw is too slow. What if I drop it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Good this block is, by Jinor. <laughs> I think honestly, I think it's probably a little bit uh, nerves on uh, on Castanicha is, is more likely. Yeah, I think you know that's also the the consequence of juggling a lot of characters. Ooh, and that's it. That's Rock it. Crash GG. Deal. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like when I played my set against you, and I I picked Zane. Like I, I don't play Zane any amount of the time, so my heart was pounding out of my chest the entire set. Like I'm just yeah. like paranoid about every combat reveal. Like oh god, what am I doing wrong? So I, I could see that. Has is super explosive like he just like he just yeah. get completely eviscerated by the other so yeah. it's scary i'm hoping uh you will you get eliminated by somebody else in uh in playoffs <laughs> so i don't have to face you again i don't want the rematch <laughs> i mean my first opponent is carolina and he's oh yeah he's that's right crazy yeah, good yeah. so we'll see we'll see this friday yeah. this friday new videos check it out <laughs> check it out yeah <laughs> All right, opening king throw, giant arm switching it up, keeping uh, cast on his toes, getting aggro. Oh. Yeah, I like it. Just take the knockdown. Mm -hmm. What is mix? 
Yeah, or even it's just free damage, right? And if it forces Casta to to overreact by, uh... oh, okay. <laughs> he saved that. You know why he didn't combo into that ten? He was saving it for the next game. <laughs> <laughs> Very bull reveal. Yeah. Works out for him. Flips an ace off shenanigans like a true god. Does he have an ace in hand to cap? He always though? does. He never doesn't have the ace here. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Interesting. So, no aces in hand, no jays in hand. Yeah. He just yeah. went t- throw the nine just for damage. <laughs> And nothing else. That's it. Just big boy plays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty jank. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> in the immortal words of uh, I am nobody, that jank is hell combo dealt 16 damage. <laughs> <laughs> was he referring to Zane when he said that? No, it was a DeGray thing, but uh, <laughs> oh, similar. Okay. You know, you know how gorillas yeah. do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me just stack this, you know, put this random two and three in a combo. That's right. <laughs> Get my free eight. Yeah, free eight damage. <laughs> yeah, man, Cast is playing this, like, super, super aggro. Yeah, and, you know, um, I was trying to be true there, too, because he expected, you know, he thought, he thought you know, Cast has a jank hand, so he's just going to block here. But yeah, oh, he's still going in. If you get shenanigans, you know, it doesn't matter. Ooh, do we have the 10 this time? No, still no 10. That's two unsuccessful queens against dodge. Never in my life have I seen these kind of odds. Yeah, the hype is off the it. charts! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like every time I dodge against Midori, normal dodge against Midori, I just regret it. Yeah, he's get blown, blown up. Right up. It. Yeah, <laughs> but Jinom's unlucky. Yeah. So we know, yeah, that's the thing. Like, Casta doesn't have, like, much damage off of this. He gets seven damage for free, so that's not too bad. But uh, hand is definitely yeah. still hurting. Still an awkward hand. Be good. Yeah. I don't eases the brakes. He's like, okay, you're you're crazy. I'm just going to hold, I'm just going to down back for a little bit. <laughs> you do what you're doing, whatever that is. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to build a hand over here. <laughs> but then he just, you know, tosses in next next turn. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna it's like I'm gonna block one time! Here we go! <laughs> That's enough fuel. We can finish it now. Hey, nine cards, you know. You can RPS <laughs> all the way to victory. That's if right. you want to. Oh second wake up joker of the set. <laughs> 100% hit rate. Yeah. What yeah, he's 2 for 2 for gold burst. It's pretty nutty. Are we going to see... So I'm betting I'm betting either... If he has Anarchy, he plays it immediately right now, or he goes for throw. Mm, like, if he yeah. doesn't have Anarchy, throw 100% of the time here, I think, is very successful. Yeah, throwing, if no Anarchy, Anarchy if have it. I yeah. think that's the right call. Because Jainar has been, like, very conservative, but he's also, like, backed off enough that he might be tempted to push a button there. Oh! Wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay. I will admit, I would have got hit by that. Yeah, <laughs> I got, I, yeah, I got exploded. <laughs> I'm, we are both at four hit points right now. Yeah. <laughs> or three hit points. <laughs> and guard... Thank God Jainam did the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> the absolute genius of blocking anarchy there. Yeah. I mean, Jainam did, did establish a pretty aggressive range, so he did. blocking he did. was very, very smart there. Yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, it's it's interesting, actually. Like, he's been... After the first game... So he played the first game super conservative, right? He's like, I, I haven't played Casta before. I'm going to just play, like, really safe strats. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm going to block a lot more than I than he might expect me to. And then after that, he's gotten aggressive with the throws. He's mixed it up in the early game. But as soon as Anarchy, if he even smells Anarchy, if he even thinks he smells Anarchy, he goes right to Block City for at least a turn just to see what uh, Casta will do. Yeah, great, great range shift. Mm-hmm. And we got mini Final Dragon Buster. With 36. <laughs> yeah, 36, it's just enough. Oh, man. 
<laughs> so the the only parts of Casta's uh, deck that that have betrayed him so far are the kings. I don't think a single king. Actually, no, sorry, that that king in the last game finished it off. But other than that, mm -hmm. uh, they he have not been working. Out. That. Yeah, he's making most of them. Mm -hmm. So and I guess that explains why um Casta's hand was kind of janked before because he was loaded with kings and he was just saving it for dragon form. Makes sense. Goes for the dodge. Yeah, he got he got the um I like the block there from Casta because so Ginorm blocked, got the king back like with no hesitation. And there's a queen in the discard already. So you'd think like, okay, if you've got the if you're getting the king back, you probably have the queen. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Blows him up. Casta. And no reason to get the K unless you have a queen in your in hand to basically mix it up. Yeah. Well, there we well, go. Man. Ginorm up two. So this is first two four, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, I think if unless something's drastically changed, uh playoffs and play ins should be first to four. Actually, no, play play ins, I don't know. Playoffs for sure first to four. Yeah, I gotta check the rules now. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ginger Vitos has the same question. Yeah. Okay, well, uh looks like play is going to continue. It looks like he's still sticking to Zayn regardless. Yeah. I mean, Zayn's not a bad character. The only risk here is uh, uh, if it was... Actually, yeah, if if he if he wins this match, then Giant Arm can switch to Troc, and then it's very spooky. Um, yeah, that's the danger. But Giant Arm is an honorable man. He wouldn't do that, right? Do that. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Screw on her. I want to win, man. <laughs> Shin Mystic Juicer. <laughs> Play to win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here comes the bull. <laughs> That's right. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Yeah, I mean, what's this is Zane we're talking about? Mm -hmm. All right, finds a jack for uh, the second time this set. 22 damage and knockdown for two cards. I mean, that's pretty good. Easy. <laughs> Easy game. Oh, God. Such a privileged character. Oh, God. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, it's happening I'm again. I'm going to rip his hand on our aces. <laughs> Anarchy and mystery card. <laughs> 18 hit point Midori incoming. <laughs> oh. Overs. Yeah. Strictly correct gold burst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a very good spot to gold burst. No way Zane's blotching that. <laughs> not this Zane. This yeah, Zane. Th this Zane plays for today. He's not planning for tomorrow. He's definitely yeah, it's, not... it's Grasshopper Zane, not Ant Zane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's CPAT Zane, then maybe we would see block. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't. This is. We're dealing with a completely different kind of animal here. <laughs> yeah, Cass is a. Uh... Yeah, a wild boy. <laughs> so, they both got two aces. Oh. Ooh, the curse of the kings is broken. The evil is defeated. Was... Yeah, his crash rounds were pretty unsuccessful. Yeah. Good creator destroyer. Yep, does put him on four, or, well, five cards on the next turn, but still uh, pretty low hand. All right. Yeah, I think it's always smart to see and D when your yeah. opponent just get get grabs aces, regardless of you know what the rest of his hand could be. Definitely a good call, and he and he did get uh, Jack and Queen out of the way there. Yeah, and Q with ten back up, most importantly. All right, I'm 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 going all in. Wake up, Gold Burst from Giant Arm. Oh no, okay, never mind. I take it back. I take it back. A dragon form. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's just like, do I have the Queen or not? Nice. Oh. I like the wake yeah, up king there. Yeah, sticky to the plan. Yeah, yeah now, I can respect that wake up K, but it didn't work out. Will Casta Casta throw into throw to get rid of Dragon Form Challenge 2020? Hey, <laughs> we did it. Nice. Yeah, last time converted to aces, but I think this is too low hand for him to do it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 2022 20, again. That jank is hell combo did 22 damage. <laughs> and gets him out of dragon form. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. nice. Again, you take those. You take the throw there. Yeah. Don't let Zane rebuild his hand. 
<laughs> don't don't uh, don't get hit for twenty here. Oh no! Do it again. <laughs> He's just he just keeps throwing them. Gets rid of the two. That's very important. Yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good poke there. But uh, he's dealing with oh my god, that's that's the thing, right? Like you can't you can't predict this. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Powers up for for two aces and then king throws four turns in a row, no hesitation. He's gonna a... throw for the fifth time. Oh, he used, he used the whole stick of butter and then he was ready. He's like, the frying pan is prepared. I can go in with this AA now. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Okay, so this is so triple A's and top deck. <laughs> <laughs> this absolute goon. Giant arm just queens here. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Yeah, he's no, like, you, you're crazy. You didn't, it. you didn't draw it. There's no way you drew it. All right, honestly, I'm rooting for Zane to draw the fourth ace and play it here. I want to see uh, an ace match. <laughs> Damn. He's like, you've got good throws. Let me tell you something about throws. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a grappler too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wow, he just... Doesn't what? even... Wow. Why? <laughs> I mean, why... Yeah, I mean, you could just take the... I think... I think that's not correct. I mean, you got a lot of damage, sure, but now yeah, it's yeah. literally just ace and top deck. I mean, this is Zane, though. We can still win one. He can still win with... You know. For sure, for sure. It just feels like knockdown there is just so... So scary for uh, Midori. Especially yeah. since if he had... If he had queen there, he 100% played queen with 10 backup. Like, there's no way... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, oh, there it is. Shuts it down. Nice. One hit point remaining, and Ginorm is the eighth spot in IYL playoffs. With Midori. Dang. The tried and true. Yeah, stuck to his guns. He did it. He did it. Yeah, sometimes you gotta you gotta stick to your mains and what you're good at, and yep. it really does pay off. Well, shout outs to uh, Casta. Good game. Unfortunately, his uh, his IYL uh, run ends here, and mm -hmm. uh, and Giant Arm goes on to uh, to get into the playoffs. Uh, thank you very much for joining me on the cast. It's my pleasure. Love watching these games and talking about them. Hell yeah! That was a good set. That was a lot of fun to watch. Very explosive and exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got the hype. They brought the hype. <laughs> they did. Damn. Yep. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And until next time, enjoy yourselves some Yomi. Cheers. Bye-bye.